It's back. You asked for it, so we are demoing it. Your request today on the V Blog at Bud Day. I'm your host Nathan Lawson and thanks for watching. Now so many of you continue to inundate my inbox with request after request after request. So it's time to pick some of the top choices and do some of the most requested demos. And yes, the United Cutlery M48 Survival Axe is on the docket today. Now, I'm not too surprised by how many requests there are for this one specific item due to the fact that the Survival Axe was developed directly off of the United Cutlery's huge success, the M48 Tomahawk. And we have totally put the Tomahawk through a number of tests more than anything else here at Bud K. That thing basically cannot be stopped. So we have high hopes and high expectations for the Survival Axe, which you are about to see. And of course, let's go ahead and get on to our first product review of the day. Here we have the Chopper Sword, retailing for $15, but on sale for $12.99. Now this 27 and a half inch Chopper Sword is a mean machine. The stainless steel blade was handcrafted in China to an exact 3.1 millimeter thickness. A cross-shaped stainless steel tuba and cord wrapped handle protect your hands in battle. Now this includes a black nylon sheath and it's 27 and a half inches overall. Now Josiah from Kansas City, Missouri says, I bought one and loved it so much I decided to take advantage of the penny shipping 48 hours and bought another one. I most certainly recommend this sword for the zombie. It's strong, lightweight, and has a good flow to it as it moves. <laughs> There's a blade in front. In front of it. That went right to it. Nice! Yeah, because it has an edge. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wow. Dang. <laughs> Up next is the Tomahawk Fantasy Skull Gauntlet Hand Spike, retailing for $57, but on sale for $39.99. Now with this gauntlet strapped to your arm, there is no question you are the man in charge. Now the three piercing spikes stretch 11 and a half inches long and are constructed from solid stainless steel. The palm cover is cast metal construction with unique details down to each bone. With an overall length of 17 inches, this monstrous hand spike will not only protect your grip, but will send your foes running in the other direction. Here we have the Red Fortress Short Sword with sheath, retailing for $24, but on sale for $14.99. Sleek, dangerous, tactical. Measuring 28 inches overall, this sword is constructed of stainless steel with a heat-treated black baked finish. Now the 20 inch blade features a piercing point and slides smoothly into the included nylon bladed sheath. Now the red simulated leather wrapped handle adds a shore grip for easy maneuverability. If there is a sword that screams to be picked up, this one is it. Nice! <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Go through it, go through it. <laughs> and here, a very unique piece, the comma set. Retailing for $24, but on sale for $18.99. Perfectly balanced for precision performance for the amateur or the professional. Crafted with razor sharp, razor sharp stainless steel seven and a half inch blades. The hardwood handles are lightweight for quick maneuvering. 15 and a half inches overall, and this set includes two pieces. Now, Bill G from Pittsburgh, PA says, sharpest blades I've ever seen. As an avid collector of weapons and knives, I have never seen a blade sharper. I have a $2,000 sushi knife. It doesn't even come close. They are literally razors. Amazing, exceptional value. I just can't figure out what the number six means stamped on them. <laughs> yeah. Show the camera. Where's that second slice at? Right there, down the side. It wow. Was falling over. That's pretty cool. It went through it though. It did. Okay, so it did. It went straight through it. I think it's super sharp. Up next, we have the Scottish Early Pattern Claymore Sword, retailing for $63, but on sale for only $39.99. Mirroring the Early Pattern two-handed Claymore design welded in medieval Scotland, this sword measures 43 inches overall. It offers a wide 31-inch stainless steel blade and a spiral hardwood handle. Though the distinctive brass plate of guard slopes downward with the arms ending in quadrifoil. This item includes a leather sheath equipped for over-the-shoulder wear. Now this is a great item for the historical collector. Nick from EU Claire, Wisconsin says, Why pay more for a Claymore? To start, I love this sword. It's the first sword I've added to my extensive knife collection and it's a perfect fit. I purchased this for an item for a display costume piece. I'm slightly disappointed with the craftsmanship of the piece, but for the price, it's totally understandable. Thanks, Bud K. I look forward to purchasing more of your wares. And here we have the M48 Commando Survival Axe, retailing for $127, but on sale for $69.99. Now the M48 Survival Axe is the perfect companion for hiking and camping. With a 37 inch overall length, it's great as a walking staff while camping. A cast 2 CR13 stainless steel blade is razor sharp and can chop through saplings with ease. A 30 inch fiberglass handle is nearly indestructible and the axe head is constructed to it with three separate metal bolts. Now this includes a snap-on rubberized blade cover for when not in use for cutting. Now Jonathan Carbon from Henderson, Nevada says, just as cool as you think it's going to be. If you're thinking about buying or getting an M48 axe, do it. You will not be disappointed. I just got mine today and it's everything I thought it would be. It feels heavy duty in the hand and feels like it can take a beating. <laughs> Man, it's like there's nothing there at all. Awesome. Good. I know he did. He didn't swing hard at all.
All right, well, that wraps up this week's speed vlog. But, hey, as always, send us your video responses on what you'd like to see demoed here on the show. Now, of course, email your comments, your suggestions, your requests to vblog.budk.com. That is vblog at budk.com. Check out budk.com slash videos for all videos per produced here at budk. From all of us here, I am Nathan Lawson, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.